Hey Jason, this is Billy at GeForce Power Sports. Uh, going over your razor here. Uh, did not find any codes. No historic codes, no current codes. Um, yeah, so I, I got nothing to go off of there. I did go ahead and inspect your vehicle. I do still have the same wear that you had before. Uh, your diff, your wheel bearings, uh, the wheels are clunking back and forth. Um, your axles, they're all worn out. They're all pretty bad. Um, this wheel's turned in a little bit, which is gonna cause extra wear on, uh, <clears throat> on your drive shaft. This one's also loose. Loose is, loose is some, a little bit of play is okay, but yours is pretty excessive. Um, I mean, that's really excessive right there. Go ahead, and we went ahead and took the clutch cover off, inspected your clutch halves. Everything looks fairly good. I mean, you just got normal wear on there. Uh, normal wear on both both sides. Nothing, uh, nothing to write home about. The aftermarket belt that could be causing some of the issue. Um, Polaris suggests using always their Polaris belt. But again, I got no codes. I got nothing to go off of as far as any speed sensor or things like that going bad. Um, a combination of loose bearings, loose axles, uh, drive lines, um, and then the speed sensor not connecting with the, or not reading the same speed as the clutch would, is gonna cause it to, to do that and go into limp mode. It thinks it's, it thinks it's losing a cylinder when that stuff doesn't all line up. So anyway, um, I don't see anything that we've done uh, here whatsoever to cause any of the issues you may be having. Again, and I don't even, the computer's not even generating a problem at the moment. Um, I'll go ahead and send this video to you so you can expect it. And then I'll give you a call here in a sec. Thanks.